you know, maybe it can work if I pretend that I don't see and life is like bird boxing you trying to pull open your eyeballs. Virgo, welcome back. This is your February reading. If you're new, welcome. I am Simone the Moon Goddess from themoongoddess.com. I'm an energy reader. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. So Virgo, let's get into your reading. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever Virgo placements you have that you feel resonates, go with the energy. Let's start with a theme for Virgo. Okay, so there's not for you. Something's not for you, loves. And it's a chessboard, yeah. There's something here not for you. Fork in the road. This is the third this is my fourth reading. And the third time this card is showing up. So wherever you find yourself in a decision, a deciding, there's something for you to decide on which way to go. There's something that you know does not work with your energy type. There's something you know that does not work with where you want to go. So you gotta be. It's chess, not checkers. You gotta be strategic. You gotta be honest with your decision making. Okay. There's the tribe here at the top, and chaos and conflict. So potentially connected to relationships in some way. There's something not for you. Let's get some. Well, look, you got the five of swords here at the bottom, and I haven't even shuffled. So is there some kind of and the three of swords wow something not for you virgo let's see what comes through for you loves some kind of connection relationship situation your guys are like nope what's the energy for virgo in february so we got judgment huh not for you indeed strength and judgment could be a leo energy in your life or situation there's some kind of rebirth happening here and it cannot happen if you keep yourself in situations or aligning yourself with situations or people that you know don't support you fully or don't make you feel as if you're thriving or elevate you or habits, it could be habits. There's something you need to cut out of your life, my loves. All right, there's this sense of not trying to control. Maybe it's about controlling, maybe trying to control things. Um, but there's some kind of judgment call that you know, you know the truth is the truth. You can't hide from the truth. You cannot not, you can't un unknow the truth. You can't forget what you already know, right? Look to your future. Be honest with yourself. Is this aligning with where I am trying to get to? It's time to observe. It's time to, to, to take your time with something. Let's see what's going on with your energy. All right. So nine of wands and the eight of pentacles is your energy. I don't know, is there some kind of feeling as if life is a stage? There's a need for you to work on yourself, my loves. Maybe it's about lowering, um, having stronger boundaries and also knowing when to lower your boundaries. So this is, is there's a fine line between knowing when to fortify yourself and knowing when you can be relaxed and let down your boundaries somewhat. And that might take a little bit of work, a little bit of tweaking. Maybe that's why, you know, we're forking the road right now. And again, we're playing chess and not checkers. So we know chess is a slow game. It's a slow game. It's about strategy, right? It's about thinking ahead. So now wherever you are at in your mindset, whatever the judgment call is, where you're being called to, to have strength and to be bold and to stand firmly in what you believe in, maybe it's it's going to take work refinement is about you refining yourself where you are at now you're refining yourself refining your wants your needs your beliefs your ideas about yourself about life however that resonates for you okay let's see 
And as for usual, this nine of swords will always show up for Virgo. Why? <laughs> Why? Let's see what's going on with your money, business, and career. King of Swords and the Five of Wands reverse. King of Swords and the Five of Wands reverse. All right, so strategic st strategy when it comes to your money. Again, be mindful of who you share with your personal details, your money, your what's going on with your money, what's going on with your business. Like, just be mindful of who you share with because you know we don't know some some people might be smiling in your face but they they're trying to fight against you they're trying to work against you also this could be a sense this could be you as well you could be sabotaging yourself in some way when it comes to your money leo energy here again with this five of wands there is a need for you to go into focus mode planning mode strategic mode the king of swords so you need to have your mental state on on all right to be able to see ahead to see the tricks that people might be coming with when it comes to your money just don't be telling people your business i think that's what our that main thing is don't tell people your business there's change coming with your money as well so if you feel as if there's been a lot of competition a lot of pushback like that's about to shift because you've got this eight of wands here at the top um let's see what's going on with your relationships not for you virgo the tower and the chariot so somebody could be coming around again coming back again there's something that's ending that's but the ending is allowing you to move forward the ending is what's creating the change in your relationships so the judgment call the trumpet has been sounded you had a dream you had a feeling an inclination you, your the hairs in the back of your neck stood up Something has happened in your relationships and you know it's over. You know there's something that is over. There's no going back. Whether this is with a person or maybe, again, it's a mindset. Remember, it could be a mindset that you are working on here. There's something that you're working on here. Maybe you're trying to fix things that don't need fixing. They just need to be thrown out. Not everything can be fixed. Sometimes you just need to throw it out and get something new. So there's some kind of change happening here that is allowing, there's an ending that's allowing some change to happen. Let's see. And the lovers at the heart. Yeah, somebody, some of y'all gonna have choice as well. There's a page of cups and a king of wands here on either side of the lovers. Ooh, that's a whole lot of cards. And a queen of swords too, Lord of mercy. Whatever well, you feel stressed about the Queen of Swords, it's like, look, look at it. Look at what I'm showing you. There's something new. There's something new, loves. There's something new coming. Give me one more card for their love. All right, you got a High Priestess here. So three major cards for your romantic and your relationships in general the tower the chariot the high priestess so something is coming to light something that's been hidden is coming to the light and that's what's causing the end but it's going to allow you to move forward so you might have been feeling like you've been left in limbo for a while or feeling that you weren't clear or sure 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 about something and that that confirmation is coming okay a confirmation is coming here you are virgo Confirmation is coming. Yep. Trust. Yep. And the Wheel of Fortune is reversed. Yep. Something. Yep. Confirmation coming, love. Something. Mm -hmm. But it's coming with something new. So that's fine. Let's get your, your word of advice. The Hangman reverse. The Queen of Swords and the Hangman reverse. Look at her pointing. So I feel like she's saying there's no more dragging your feet on this decision. There's no more dragging your feet on this decision. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. All right. Look at you. 
it's like that meme i can't read i can't read that sign or you know you all know that meme pretending that you don't know what you know when you know that you know what you know you can't know loves and there is no maybe if i you know maybe if i like you know maybe it could work if i pretend that i don't see and life is like bird boxing you trying to pull open your eyeballs something hidden loves but whatever it is it's going to be revealed to the point where you can't even pretend anymore <laughs> you can't pretend whatever whatever all of this energy is let's see what else comes for you a new romantic cycle begins all right virgo one door closes another one opens one door closes another one opens a time to give rather than take full moon in virgo let's see what's going on with love because what is this when it comes to love what is this Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Now, it's funny that this card showed up because of what? As I was looking at the cards, I was thinking to myself, it could also be that how things have been done up to this point cannot continue. And you're both working on that change. So for some of you, it's a complete ending. There's no going back. Not for you, not for you, not for you. For some of you, if you've been contemplating lowering your boundaries, compromising where you don't need to compromise in order to make the relationship work it won't you have to be true to yourself you have to be true to yourself and your needs as they also have to be so it either works or it doesn't don't force situations that you know ain't gonna work worth waiting for divine timing is that work in your love life all right Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, let's get some more cards for you. Give me some more messages from Virgo for February. Let's see what that card is. No need to worry. I love that. Because every time I see that Nine of Swords with a Virgo reading, I'm like, why, why, why? No need to worry. Yes. Love it. If you believe it's at the bottom. Let's see. It's up to you. Peaceful resolution. There we go. There we go. There we go. I just realized you have the king and the queen of swords here as well. I just realized that. The mice. There's another card for Virgo. The mice and the whip. Ooh, we got the clover here at the bottom. The mice and the whip. So what's not healthy? All right, life is about to like shake you up and make you, make you, you cannot help but notice what's not healthy, what's not, what's toxic what's dirty what's all of that's being what's all of that is a, seeing things in their rotten state is allowing you to shift into 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 change gosh into change like you really can't not see oh my god how can i not i can't deal with this this is disgusting gross done whips you into into shape and the change happens, right? The tower happens and then that then is a catalyst for all this new change to come in, all this change, all this change. I'm just realizing you have the king and the queen of swords. All right, Virgo, that's your message. As always, I hope these messages support you. Until your next message, be well, my loves. Bye-bye.